was just barely, but a better week than last week, huh? Absolutely. <laughs> then I sum it up. You don't even have to talk about it now. Great. Perfect. Just like that. It just doesn't uh, really sound like the Vikings, though, this year, does it? Jim McMahon, Barry Word, uh, but the two new guys got it done today for the Vikings against the Bears. Jimmy Mack trying to get it dialed in. Chicago scored the only touchdown of the first half, though. Jim Harbaugh on the sneak. 7-3 Bears at halftime. Fourth quarter, the Vikes are driving for the winning score. McMahon to Word. Big play, 19-yard pickup before he's knocked out of bounds. And then to cap off the drive, McMahon can't believe that Chris Carter is that wide open. It's 10-7 Vikings, and that is the final. McMahon was 23-29. Word, 94 yards on the ground. The Vikes are 1-1, one and, one, and they are off next Sunday. They don't play. Detroit beat uh, New England behind four Jason Hansen field goals. Philadelphia got two from Randall Cunningham to beat Green Bay, and Rodney Hampton a big day as the Giants beat Tampa Bay 23-7. In Atlanta, Falcons and the Saints, watch the pile here. Lorenzo Neal snuck in, and then he snuck right back out, and then he goes 74 yards. He's gone for a touchdown, 7-0. Former Vike Wade Wilson throws for three scores, two of them to Quinn Early. It's 24-7 Saints. Second half, though, Bobby Bear on in relief of Chris Miller. Hooks up three scores, two of them to Michael Haynes, this one for 98 yards. Ties the game at 31, and we check out the final. Morton Anderson kicked a game-winning field goal with a second left as uh, Atlanta wins it by three. Indy wins a field goal contest over Cincinnati. The Rams behind Jim Everett shut out Pittsburgh, and the Jets behind Boomer Esiason beat Miami 24-14. In Washington, D.C., Mark Rippon, who tore up Dallas last Monday, tears up his knee today. Watch his right leg. Oh, shades of uh, Joe Feisman a couple of years ago.